jerks. Works even better on this. Thank you for tuning back into the channel. Uh, today, different video. I'm going to, as you can tell behind me, I got a box right there. I'm gonna do a couple listings on Marketplace. When I get stuff like this, which this is, it's a DAVIS12 Sony um, system. I got this off high bid some weeks ago and those of y'all who know me, I talk to me a little bit more personally, you know that I'm terrible about listing. I got a death pal I need to get rid of. But usually when I get big stuff, I throw it to the back and list it later. And this is just one of the things I've had that I've been meaning to list. It's taking up too much room. So it's heavy. So uh, it's a great, you know, it's new as well. It is open box. It does have like a little hole in the box right here too on the side. Uh, but on eBay, these go for like four fifty. One just sold not so long ago for four hundred and fifty dollars. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and listen on Facebook Marketplace. I'm probably gonna throw a between three fifty and four hundred dollar tag on there, and then work my way down if I have to. So this is one piece I think I'm gonna do. And also, those of y'all who watch me know that I have a lot of video games. I got consoles video games i sold most of the video games um and i three four five six times my money on that alone just by the video games but i got a bunch of consoles that i need to test i was going back and forth whether the list them as is or list them as tested and i decided to do tested and i just said i get to it when i can get to it well today is the day to get to some of them yes, sir. <laughs> not all of them because i got about 50 or 60 consoles so so I bought a few down, bought some Super Nintendo's, a couple of Segas. Uh, Nintendo 64, GameCubes. Of course the NES and the SNES. But look, the NES, the regular Nintendo, I got the most of. And out of all these cords and stuff like that, and I got more upstairs. I don't have not one power cord to power these Bruh. things up. It's crazy. I got stuff for everything else, but for Nintendo, for some reason, no power cords, no power block or whatever. So I got one of those in order, so we're not going to be able to do the regular NES today. So all I'm going to focus on, focus on really is the SNES, the uh, Nintendo 64, the GameCube, and maybe Sega, stuff like that. So I got this one hooked up. Let's hook this up and let's power on to see. Oh, we got something. It don't look right, though. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, you kids will never understand what we had to go through back in the day. That's what we had to do back in the day. Throw it in there. Make sure it's in there. Power it back on. Still don't look right. Okay, there it go. But why didn't it work like that the first time? See, so you kids will never understand, all right? We used to have to blow in it real hard, put it down, power on, reset, reset to get it right. And guess what? I still got the touch, because look, it works. All right. Um, my stupid butt didn't bring no controllers in here. I got a bunch of controllers outside. So anyway, I know this one worked. So let's move on to the second one. Hey, this one right here just looks like it's not gonna work. Bruh. Dust, it looks like it's been on the ground forever. We gonna see what's up though. We gonna plug them in. We gonna plug them in. Hopefully he comes alive. We gonna, we gonna throw a tennis game in him. Throw a tennis game in. Man. Oh, come on, man. We ain't getting nothing. Is that me? Can we sell them? Let's throw this other game back on, though. That's just a game. Works. Works even better on this. And that all silly. You see this, Cam? This is like 20 that's years before you. Look like? Yeah, that's what that's the games used to play back in the day. Bruh. The graphics is nice, ain't it? No, it's not. 
See how he's talking about us 90s babies. Oh, go get it. Get it. There we go. It works. We was two out of two. I think we're going to be one out of three. I can't get nothing. Can't get nothing on him. I'm going to blow him out one time. He looks too. He looks, he's not looking too bad either. I mean, he's dusty, but he ain't got the fade and nothing on him. Looking good. It's always the one that looks the good that gives you the most trouble. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to throw him on the other side for now. Maybe come back and see if we can fix you later. Oh, yeah, baby. What up? We three for four so far. One didn't work. He's sitting over in the cut right there. So, this is number four, and we three for four. So, 1990 to 1991. 91, baby. I'm a 90s baby. Mainly 80s baby, but it's all good. 20, 30 years ago. How long ago? 20 something years? Yeah. 25? 30 years ago almost. 30. 29, almost 30. Good luck. Now, I know there's a lot more I can do, but I'm not trying to do that. Yeah. We three for two, not looking too good. About to go back to the garage, see if I have any more Super Nintendos. Well, I found another Super Nintendo, but look at him. Bruh. <laughs> he fell off my shelf. Oh, man. But here's another one. My God. Also, I'm not doing that today, but look, this is a box full of Ataris. All different types. 7800s. Uh, what's the other one? 2600s. Um, so, there'll be another video. So, stay tuned for that one. But look at him, man. You think he still work like that? <laughs> so, I'm going to grab him. And while I'm down here... See, I got Nintendos. I got Sega CDs, which I got power cores coming from him. I need to grab that Nintendo 64 because I'm going to test that today. Look like I got a GameCube and some Segas up here too that I need to take down there. So, All right, blow them out, air them out, and just power them up and see what happens. Same thing with this one. He's on the side. I'm going to reset. There we go. Yes, sir. Looking good on him. So we are... Three for, no, we was two for two. No, it was three for two. Now we four for two. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna get back to the Nintendo 64. It's probably in the operator era, uh, as far as cores or whatever, because I tried out three and none of them worked. And then I would think at least one of them would work a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But that's the reason why I hate testing stuff sometimes, especially when I have other things going on. Because it takes a lot of time when you're dealing with electronics. That's why I do as is a lot of time. But these still do pretty good as is. Uh, just like a lot of this other stuff. On to the GameCube. All right. Um, I'm already got, I'm already powered in. I'm not getting the signal right now. But I think it's because I'm on the wrong channel. Let's see that. Let's go to channel. Then let's go over to three. I guess I could. There we go. I guess I could have switched it on the GameCube too to channel four. But. So look, we got we got we got some uh we got some work. Okay, so let's put it down. Let's hook up on these joysticks. Okay, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. So with this, it seems like it has a short. If I hold it like this, it recognizes the controller. If I let go, that's what happened. Bruh. So I'm guessing like if I get some WD-40 or some type of, not WD-40, but something to spray up in there, maybe so it can get a good connection, it'd probably work a whole lot better. These have been sitting for a while, so I can only imagine there's dust and all kinds of crazy stuff inside of these, you know. So yeah, I see what I can do about that, but other than that, it seems like, you know, see it's working now, but it's just some timing, so. I'm two for two. I say I'm two for two on the GameCube, you know what I'm saying? I think I was three or four for two on the Super Nintendos. 
zero for two for three on the N64s, but I think it's operator error. Man. And so I'm gonna go back to them. And the Segas, I think I'm gonna hold off right now. I'm gonna hold off on the Segas only because <clears throat> I don't have the power cord to the second gen. I got them to the big ones. And um, those are known for messing up a little bit. I tested a couple a while back and I never did get a good response for that. So I'm gonna hold off on that. Plus it's time to eat. You understand what I'm saying? Your boy gotta eat. Um, different video. I'm glad y'all decided to stop and watch. It's Christmas time. Look at the tree. You know what I'm saying? And uh, me and the kids and the wife were at home chilling. I had a big plan to take everything over to my office, show you guys this, test it over there. But one thing about having an office, I'm going to tell you guys, or any type of, or anything that's not at your house that you spend a lot of time on, is that it will take time from your family unless they with you while you're doing it. So I have a full-time job. I do this on the side. So after my full-time job, I do this. And if I spend all of it at the office it takes time away from my family so i like to bring stuff home that way they can help me we can do stuff have fun and stuff like that so that's um i guess the negative if there is a negative to having an office um Straight is because of that now if it's my full-time job i would try to do it to the best of my abilities where i spend eight nine hours at work leave it at work come home and then do it with my family but this is a side hustle so you know what i'm saying you gotta figure it out anyway with all that being said y'all like comment subscribe Y'all be good. Peace.